Joining me via Skype this morning is the Liberal MP for Outremont. She's also the Parliamentary Secretary for the Minister of Small Business, Rachel Bendayan. Good morning. Good morning, Laura. So, uh, you know, COVID-19, as we know, has created a lot of uncertainty and has made a lot of people anxious, particularly business owners. What are you hearing on the ground from your constituents? Well, I spend my days speaking to entrepreneurs and uh, I can tell you that, yes, they're extremely stressed uh, and anxious. Uh, I know I live with one. My husband is a small business owner and it's extremely difficult. But, uh, you know, when I speak to them uh, on the phone or, or, you know, via via Skype or virtually, I, I get a lot of surprised to be honest like you know entrepreneurs are telling me you know wow like this is this is what government is for like you're you're actually there to help us through this and uh, whether it's through our business loans or our wage subsidy they're finding that the supports are useful so that's very encouraging for me do you see that the level of anxiety sort of is different or, or like between medium-sized business owners perhaps to the very, you know, the ones who own the very tiny shops? I mean, do you see them feeling more anxious? It really depends on the industry and it, obviously it depends on the circumstances of each entrepreneur. But certainly, um, you know, I think of uh, Boulevard Saint-Laurent, Saint-Denis uh, and uh, like streets uh, like Park Avenue and, and Laurier. These are our commercial arteries are what makes our neighborhood home. And uh, a lot of these storefront shops are indeed facing um, greater anxiety than, than perhaps others. But I know that, uh, you know, everything that we're trying to do is, is really meant to help uh, see these businesses through to the other side. And, and this week, Premier Legault announced that, um, that we were on track for opening up these uh, storefront shops on Monday. Monday. Yeah. And what do you think about that? I mean, uh, what have you heard? Is there uh, some relief being expressed that there will be an opening next week or are people nervous about it? I think it depends on who you speak to. You know, everybody is reacting to this uh, differently and, and rightly so. It's extremely personal. But, you know, m many of the businesses I've, sp I've spoken to over the course of the last few days uh, have said that they are looking forward to uh, to opening up on Monday. Um, there are questions, of course, uh, for, for the provincial government on, on PPE and, and how to do that in a safe and responsible way, make sure that everybody is ready for this. But I do think that, um, that people are excited to, uh, to get back to work. I want to do uh, get to the concrete measures that the government is offering to these business owners and the uh, news this week that the Canada Emergency Business Account has been extended to to include more people. Can you tell me uh, particularly about that, that about that change and why it was made? Sure. I mean, I, I was uh, working with Minister Ng and, and Minister Morneau on, on these changes. Uh, I think that it's uh, important, you know, just to take a step back. We're talking about these $40,000 loans that are meant for small businesses uh, in order to help them cover their operating costs. Uh, it's a, an interest-free loan. Uh, backed by the federal government. So far, there's about 600,000 businesses that have already been accepted for this loan and are using it. And um, we decided to expand the eligibility criteria to help even more businesses. So uh, whereas before you, you did need to have employees or, or a payroll, uh, now we're, we're really making sure that this uh, this loan will be there for everybody, including you know your local hair salon that, uh, that uses only contract workers um, or you know other family-owned businesses that don't have employees. Yeah. Well, Rachel Ben Diane, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We've run out of time, unfortunately, but thank you for all your great work. Thank you, Laura. Have a great one.